Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Good morning from you? Yes, good morning. Yeah, we just about got one. So today we are here in this amazing woodland and pond area which we were at last week to photograph kingfishers. Well, actually let's take a bit of pressure off. We're here to try and take photos of kingfishers. So stay tuned with us and see how we get on. see by this today we have glorious conditions my only concern is there's a lot of fresh water in making it really brown as you can see it's like Willy Wonka's river right there um, we have just seen one I mean we've only been here two or three minutes and it came flying down here and up and over the road at the end but I think our luck might be in because it's very very quiet we've got fantastic conditions for it fantastic conditions some really really good light today so I, I hope I hope we can do it I really really do And talking about the conditions that we've got on the lake today there's some amazing reflections and this is what I was trying to capture if you remember while we were here last week until we got disturbed by said kingfisher so we've done a bold thing today we both got long lenses in mini noob's got the 70 to 200 and I've got the 150 to 500 so any shorter lenses are in the car so if we did just decide to choose to take a photo of uh, some reflections it'll have to be done on the 70 to 200 but we're going to keep on with what we had in mind and uh, keep our eyes peeled because if you've ever tried to photograph or see kingfishers before what you'll notice is you'll be walking along a stretch of maybe a pond or a river just like this and you will just see a blue flash I kind of look at it like you know when you look at fish tanks and they've got those little neon tetras and when they hit the right light you just get that burst of blue if you see that you've seen a kingfisher so that's what we're looking at for right now keeping our eyes open we've had some luck it's back just speaking to that lady down there cool that's bright fun another local and she's been waiting for it as well so it's just gone in these bushes where we were last week so we're just going to decide on whether we're going to stay on this side or maybe go on the other side because we might be at more advantage with the sun on the far side So he is here, in there again, same as last week. But nothing conclusive to get a good shot at the moment, so we're just going to hang around and wait. Seems like luck is on our side again, which is fantastic. But it's very dark. The sun up there in the clouds is is not great. We really could do with it out because at the moment this is a high ISO time. <laughs> high ISO time. Still, let's keep our eyes peeled and hope for the very very best there it is there it is it's just took a fish it's just on down in there see him just on that log which goes up and down the other side it's just there it's just slightly covered though with that so I might there he goes there There he goes. I think, you know, this might be a case where we might just have to stand somewhere and wait. Actually, let's follow the lady because she knows.
So we waited ages down there. Didn't have any joy, so we thought we'd come up to this next lake and we found it. It's just about 100 feet that way and it's just pruning itself on the branches. I've got some images, I'm not sure how good they are, but oh, we've been waiting ages to try and find it and we've now got it. Brilliant, A lovely female. Lovely, absolutely beautiful. 1600 ISO, 1800 of a second, 7.1. Really good, really good. I'm gonna try and see if we can get a little bit closer somehow. I'm gonna to have to be really, really quiet and slow. Wish me luck again, guys. Just waiting now for her to give me a lovely pose. There we go, there we go. Just run out this camera still on. Let's check what I see what I've got. It's gone again. Onto a different branch, which is gonna make a move. Slowly, slowly. There. We just came off the other pond and it was just sat there in the sun. Oh, I hope, I hope I've done it justice. She's a gorgeous kingfisher. Hello, doggy. It's turned out to be a good day, but I wish I'd have got the shot when I was down at the other lake. I was about 10 seconds away from shooting it from about 15 feet away, even without a hide. Still, it's all about the experience, isn't it? Gonna take some images. As we uh, as we thought we might, we have delivered today. Probably not as good as what we wanted to have done. However, we are gonna stay around for a little bit longer, so I really want that really, really close shot, but we'll see how we get on. Just to be able to see one is one thing, as everyone out there knows, but to photograph one's another thing. Also, it's just absolutely phenomenal. They're beautiful little birds, and it's a little fact for you. Do you know they only weigh as much as tin of Vaseline? Just 31 grams around about is what they weigh. Absolutely amazing. Thank you. 
just a song for these images. Just gone again. Females just got chased off with another one, two of them. Amazing to see them fly so fast. Wow, that was good. Yep. That'd be something. <laughs> I think I'm starting to get the small amount of feeling that pro professional nature photographers get. I mean, we've been here for two or three hours and this is just, I could stay here all day. Time is just flying. Like I say, I love the waterfalls and I love the landscape stuff, but this is a different edge to it. it really is. Mm. One to ponder. Want to ponder, I think. Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely great pose. Just had its beak out, man. Yeah, yeah, you carry on. You carry on. No, no, it's okay. Hey, this is your lake, not ours. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that's it there. Beautiful. It is quite bright, yeah. She likes it. Is she interested? Um, yeah, not not kind of like the same though. Definitely. We could have been here all day. Uh, but I don't think you guys would have wanted to watch about an hour video on this, so we're going to bring it to a close now. We've had an exceptional day, got some amazing images. Any other images which we think you might like to see, we'll put them after this little bit right now. But if you would, we'd be grateful. Please subscribe and give this video a massive like. We are going to do some other videos around this. We might even come back here with a hide very, very soon, because I think we might be able to get a lot closer to the Kingfisher uh, or Kingfishers, because as we know, there's more than one here. So with that, we just want to wish you a farewell and take care of yourselves and we'll see you on another one very soon. Cheers.